Hi, I'm David Davis from Actual Tech Media. We're here at the headquarters of Tachium, and I'm proud to be joined by Mr. Rado Donalik. He's the CEO and co-founder of Tachium. How you doing, Rado? Good. How are you? I'm great. I'm great. So we've been, ex we've been talking about some really exciting um, work that you've been doing here at Tachium, and uh, part of it is around Moore's Law. And so first, why don't you define for us you know, Moore's Law and how that has solved the data center problem or the public cloud problem in the past, and what Tachium's doing to uh, get around really how Moore's Law is hitting a wall in data centers today. Very good question. So Moore's Law mostly is about economic impact and the density impact, saying every 18 to 24 months, the density of transistor doubles and costs remain roughly the same. These days, cost is going uh, up of the wafers. Now, outside of more law, there is the performance as we sh has been shrinking transistors. You know, Intel announced every 18 to 24 months, we have 37 or 40 percent faster transistor or 30 percent faster transistor. It's like clockwork. These mm -hmm. are very well oiled uh, machine, Intel as the company. So people might ask, why I have today 4 GHz processor in my laptop when they remember 12 years ago they had 4 GHz Pentium 4? So how come Intel is cranking like clockwork uh, every 18 to 24 months 40% faster transistors and we are stuck at roughly the same speed? And the reason is following. Intel is absolutely correct. They are speeding up transistor at this breathtaking pace. However, transistor has to be connected with wires and uh, to transmit the information. And what is happening, each time you shrink, the wire becomes smaller and smaller, cross cross-section, it becomes uh, slower and slower. So all that incredible effort over the last decade was to maintain the, the clock speed uh, and trying to compensate for wire delay, you know, moving to copper, uh, moving to uh, other dielectric material and so on. So that was the effort so far. So where the tachyum is coming, uh, we have to solve the wire problem to again unlock uh, the improvements of what is called performance plateau. And uh, we solve that by introducing the computational model where the wires become incredibly short, almost irrelevant on the speed. And uh, it's a complex problem. It's both on the hardware and chip side design, on microarchitecture, and in the, on the software side. Because what we want to achieve, we want to take existing applications without change and just let people to use. So it's easy way how the technology uh, can be consumed. So the result will be chip, cloud chip for the data center, which last year uh, about $24 billion was spent on buying uh, hardware for this uh, data center, which will uh, give you uh, that high speed processing at 10 to 15 times lower power. So that's how we are solving the, the power problem in the process. So these massive cloud data centers, they're effectively hitting a wall where they're doubling in size every five years and the power consumption is just enormous. I mean, I think we said 40% the size of the entire country of Great Britain is being consumed worldwide. No, actually, the 40% more energy, more energy than Britain consumes. So 1.4x of wow. energy of Great Britain was consumed last year. And this is doubling every five every years. Every five years, like clockwork. Incredible. So eventually these data centers are going to run out of power. Or there must be new technology which addresses that because humanity has to continue on evolution and getting cooler stuff to the market and so on. You know, we cannot stop. Last year, almost two trillion dollars of economies somehow attached to various cloud in various form. And that's one of the benefits of the cloud is this infinite scalability and that's the expectation. Uh, but it's gonna stop unless a company like Tachium steps in to solve the power problem. So I look forward to this really innovative solution that you're coming out with, this cloud chip to solve the worldwide data center power problem. Uh, thank you so much for your time today. Thank you very much, it was a pleasure.